hello guys welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to learn how to use the Gemini API in our app or in our code so you guys know what is Gemini so Gemini is an AI by Google and we will use Gemini's API today so we can integrate Gemini in our apps and in our code so this is Google AI Studio. Here we can test out the different models of Gemini. So today we are going to use this latest. We are not going to use the Pro model. We are going to use this Flash model. So Flash models are like they are best for all purpose things and they are fast in responsing. So we are going to use this 2.5 Flash Preview 520. So we can just test out here. So I can tell him ask what is quantum what is quantum mechanics explain me like I am a five year old kid let's do control enter so now it will take some time for thinking so right now this is an experimental project or experimental feature in Google AI studio now after thinking for 11.9 seconds this is the response it gave me like okay imagine you have your favorite car and then if you push your toy car you know exactly where it will go and it will stop when it hit, when it hits a wall so like this it has explained me quantum mechanics like as if i am a five year old kid now we will use this model in our code we will use this in python so first go to google cloud console and just create a new google cloud project so i'm going to create a google cloud project and just i'm I'm going to write Gemini 2.5 test and I'm okay you can't give spaces so I'll just give a hyphen and I think I'll just type in Gemini 2. Point, okay I can't give dot so Gemini test 2025 and I'll just click on create and here you can see when our project has been created you have to again go to Google AI studio and here instead of studio go to dashboard and there click on create API key so we will choose the existing project so we will reload this page until that Gemini test 2025 project appears here okay it's still not appearing so we will keep reloading it it keep it takes a bit of time to update yeah now you can see Gemini test 2025 and just click on create API key now it will generate an API key for that project so we'll just copy this key and now we'll go to Visual Studio code and here in this folder I am going to create a new Python file called as app.py now I'll go to the Gemini API quick start guide so here they have shown us how to use this API in Python so first I have to install this library or this package google hyphen gen AI so I'll just copy this and open up the terminal in my VS code and just paste it here and now it will install the google hyphen gen AI package okay I have some warnings and after that it will install I guess yeah it has been installed now what I can do is I'll just go here and I'm going to just copy this code and paste it here and now here you can see first from Google we are importing the Gen AI module and after that we are creating a client and then gen ai dot client we are creating a client object and then in that we are giving the api key S and then response equals to client dot models dot generate content so we are choosing the model so right now it's giving us gemini 2.0 flash but what we will use is gemini 2.5 flash so i'll go to studio again and here i can see gemini 2.5 flash Hi, uh, hyphen preview hyphen zero five hyphen twenty so I'll just copy this and I'll paste it here and instead of API key we will 
use the API key which we generated so here is the API key and I'll just copy it and make sure you don't give this API key to anybody or they can have the access to your Google Cloud project now once uh, we are done this at the end we'll print the response dot text so we can see the response in the text format so I'll just run this and I'll make this window bigger and it takes a bit time because first it thinks for a few seconds and then it gives us the reply okay AI learns from data to recognize patterns and make predictions or decision so explain how AI works in a few words now we will give it a prompt explain how AI works and uh, in detail and I'll run this and I'll make the window bigger it takes a bit of time and we have told it to explain us in detail and if any error occurs if we have any bug in our code then it would appear here but right now we can't see any error so basically it's taking time yeah so when I enter explain us in detail it gave me this answer and it's I can see it's in markdown format so if I copy this okay wait if I copy this whole response and create a markdown file and just paste it there so I can properly see the preview of this code of this response so I'll just copy this and I'll make it smaller and in the files I will create output dot md and here I'll paste it and now when I see the output you can see so first it's telling us what is AI and then the foundational concept then the machine learning the core paradigm and then after that main types of machine learning after that the deep learning and after that the key components and concepts in AI ML and then beyond machine learning and deep learning the traditional AI and then the intelligence part so this is the whole output which we got we can also try like this who is Virat Kohli and list his career stats and I'll run this so it takes a bit of time because even if it's a flash model it thinks first and then uh, it gives us the response in the Google AI studio you can see it takes a bit of time to think so we have got the whole stats and we have got the whole information about Virat Kohli so I'll just copy this and I'll paste it in the output.md file paste okay now I can see Virat Kohli is an Indian international cricketer who plays for the Indian national team and is widely regarded as one of the greatest batsmen of all time so yeah and then who is Virat Kohli then career stats so they ha it had it is mentioned that it is as of late 2023 early 2024 so that model has only information till early 2024 so you can see there are uh, two centuries missing no I guess there are yeah there are centuries missing there should be more than 80 centuries the, and if you calculate the centuries there are only 30 so yeah and you can also see the key achievements and records of Virat Kohli so this is how Google uh, Gemini 2.5 flash works it not it not might be correct all the time but it is correct most of the time and it beats other AI models in different tests so yeah it's still learning and soon we'll get a new model which is very uh, accurate and it's very fast right now it takes a bit of time to think and then give the responses but maybe in the next model it will take less time and give a more accurate responses 
so this is how you use google gemini api in your python code and in the next video we will learn how to use the google gemini api in javascript using node.js so if you like this video then make sure you like uh, make sure you hit the like button and if you like this type of content then make sure you hit the subscribe button to view more such content in future thanks for watching